Hi everyone, it's Wendy. I'm back today um, with another little Christmas ephemera project. And um, this time I've done a little prototype because I just wanted to check on the folding. Uh, and I've taken a, a 12 inch wide by 6 inch tall piece of cardstock and I've folded it to make this just this very quick and simple little tag holder. Um, like so. And these are just standard uh, store-bought tags. I think I got them at Staples. So that's the back. It's like a... I'll show you the, the uh, kit in a minute. But very simple and really cute and effective to put in your journal. So um, I've used... this is Sizzix Sweet Christmas, double-sided. Uh, there's 24 designs. I have had this for a long time. So um, I thought it's time to use up some of my bits. I've got some of these uh, tags uh, and I've got some Tim Holtz ephemera as well as some um, Fussy Cut ephemera as well. And those are from uh, Lorna at uh, Taylor Made Journals. So that's one and you see he's got candies. Let's do, let's try a few of these and see how it goes. Um, I like this this one with the uh, sort of chocolatey look to it, which I think is fun. And let's try that one. So let's do these three, and we'll attempt to decorate as well and see how it goes. So the first thing I did is I folded in one edge about. Um, and I fold it into the planer bit by about an inch and a half. I am not being precise. I'm not worrying about being precise at this stage. So I'm just measuring here. It is one and a half inches. So that worked out uh, really well. So the next thing I'm going to try and do is uh, fold this to just what eyeballing it looks to be about a third like that. I'm going to make it a little more than a third because this one's going to fold to the inside. And like I said, you do not have to worry about being super precise. And the other thing is that you um, remember that this is uh, this is just meant to be fun. So I'm just going to fold that in, not quite to the center. And that came pretty close to being uh, right on and there's no reason why it has to be perfect like that if you want it or like perfect to meet each other if you want it you can adjust it which would mean this is going to come a little less close to the spine or to the the crease I'm just gonna fold that again you can't even tell the difference there and it's just a little bit closer and that looks out fine. So we've got one an inch and a half and the other one just about to the crease. So we'll, let's just do all three and then we'll start from there. So I'm going to do, there's no real um, right or wrong on these ones because of uh, there's no direction, I should say, to the pattern. So that works out really nicely. And so I'm going to go not quite to... We'll try it this way. Maybe that'll do it work a little bit better for us. Not quite to a third with this fold. And then we're going to come as close to this edge. That works out better with this fold. So we're going to learn as we go. And... There you go, like that. So, so this would be great if you have a 12 by 12 inch um, paper uh, to be able to do this. Uh, would be super. Uh, just cut it in half, and you get two of them out of one piece. So I think that's pretty cool. And then, like again, we're gonna go not quite to what would have been like a third. Go like that. Then fold it. And then we'll bring this to the edge here, just to line them up. And then fold it again. You could use your bone folder, uh, you know, and you could use um, 
uh, your tool for uh, scoring if you want it as well. But this particular cardstock is not super thick, so it makes it quite easy that you don't have to do that. So let's just see. We'll try these three and see how it goes. We're just going to put a little notch in here on all of them. Really liking the brown. That one's really speaking to me. It's got it makes it look like gingerbread. I think that's the the intention. So we've got those. And then on this one, I'm just gonna grab my uh, just gonna grab my cutter and I want to cut an angle and get that in fairly close to the fold. So I can see the fold is right up there. It doesn't have to be right up to the fold, but and then that's what it's going to look like on the inside. So. Don't want quite as severe a angle on as what that was coming up. Now you see I cut that a little bit there. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, there are no mistakes, just opportunities to be creative. That's my story. I'm sticking with it. These can be saved and used for another purpose. So what I would probably do with that one, because the edge is, is cut like that, is I would probably take my scissors, and I do like Rachel, and I would just take a little divot off the, the, the corners, and there you go. Now that looks fine and dandy. Okay, so let's glue those down and then we'll we'll uh, do some decorating. So how's everybody doing? I hope you're well. We're doing great here. Staying busy. Um, having fun crafting. That's kind of the that's kind of my M.O. <laughs> uh, so, there we go. We'll fold that down. We glued that down. It's super cute. I mean, if you want it, you could even put some paper in the center and sew in some paper. That would work out great. So there's one. And just put some here on either side. You could sew around the whole outside before we do our next part. Totally up to you. Yeah, I'm just going to put my glue on. This pink with uh, kind of a light aqua is just so pretty together. And then this little peppermint hearts. I love that. And then we'll do this one with all the little Christmas candies. And I'm just going to because I notched it there, I'm just going to glue around that little notch. That's going to work. Like that. And then, so you could do a lot of like some mass makes with these. Works out really well. And of course, you know, as I've been saying in all the videos, you can absolutely do this for non-Christmas journals as well. I think it's fun. I think I'll try using some of my Tim Holtz paper and, and making a few of these. Okay, so we've got three. Great. I think what I want to do, move this gal out of the way. I think I'd like to just use some of my um, music paper. And I'm going to cut so that we're, we don't have so much white uh, when we glue it down. really enjoying making videos lately. Um, I went through a period where I wasn't enjoying it as much and I think it was because I put that expectation on myself that I had to do something absolutely new each time um, and I've, uh, I've 
I've gotten past that. So, do some on this side as well. Just glue it and then just grab a bit. So we're, I'm doing the mass make side of things and we'll go like that. So this will go over here. All right, so let's do some gluing here. Oh, that's super pretty on that side. We could put it on that side, why not? I just like the way that the um, the uh, music notes were looking on the other side a little bit more. And I'm just going to set that there. I'm not worried about what's going to go on next. That's something we'll determine as we go. So yeah, I use my art glitter glue mostly because I find it, you know, it dries really quickly and it's good for, uh, you know, videoing purposes. But you do whatever works for you. Yeah, I like that side. Get lots of glue down. There we go. There we go. So, I've got some of these beautiful images. I like that with the, um, with the teal, and actually this gal, there's no reason why I can't cut that. Um, up there, but I think that's super pretty. Gonna do it. Gonna do it. See how that works out. Will that look good there? Yeah, and she fits on. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, we'll put her there. I think we'll put him there. And Tim Holtz. So I think that might be too small. I have this nice one. It's got the uh, bow, which is great. And I'm just looking at some of these. That looks nice too. The others are a bit, I think maybe a bit small. That one's got a muted look to it, but I quite like it. I don't know. That. I think this might be the one. I think that one might be the one. Okay. Let's do that. But I think what might be fun is to put like a, um, a, uh, oops, a little, a little uh, label behind. I think these are, um, I think those are uh, toques. From Tooks Craft Table. If I'm wrong, let me know, but I think there's Tooks. Um, this color is better with that, so I think I will. Oh, I have two there. Yeah, I'll take that. No, I still like that color better. Okay, we're going to use this. So, I wonder, I'm going to put this one down here and then put this on afterwards. Okay. So, we'll just keep our decorating. I have to clean the nozzle on this art glitter glue, but uh, it's uh, it's been fighting me. Fighting me doing it, so it's all good. Wow, that's a lot of, a lot of spiky bits. So we'll go through here. So yeah, what are you guys up to? Or have any of you started your Christmas ephemera? making or your Christmas journal making, that sort of thing. I know I've seen Rachel has started and, and Gail. Um, I've been enjoying her videos as well. Um, but I haven't seen a whole lot of other people. Carol Laws, I'm waiting for you to do a Christmas journal. Love watching you. You're just so thorough and enjoyable. So, uh, and I mentioned Tuke before. I'm looking forward to see what you do this year as well. So that 
goes here. Really cute. Love that. So Santa, what are we going to do here? We're going to... This is... I'm trying to see if the writing's upside down. Yeah, that's correct there. So I think I might put it just be over his shoulder. And we'll just glue it on. So yeah, I'd like to see what you're going to do, Took. Watched your craft room tour. Excellent. Um, you have definitely thought about where everything goes. So I was impressed by that. And I am going to. I know someone said, you know, I mentioned in, in my uh, recent video that I was going to do one. I definitely am. I'm just, part of the challenge I have, or maybe it's an opportunity, um, I have supplies that go beyond journal making. Um, I also am a rug hooker. And uh, I'm also uh, do, uh, I'm a painter. Uh, so those, those items take up a lot of my space as well. And it's like, you know, do I show you where everything, where I have everything or, because, you know, I don't want to put you to sleep. So I think I'll put that one up there. And uh, anyway, let me know if you have any thoughts or preferences on how I, how I might do that. So, and Gail, I'm looking forward to seeing a video. If you're watching, I'm looking forward to seeing a video of um, the changes you've made in your room. Uh, loved Rachel's tour of her space. She liked to super organized on how she has things. Uh, so I think that's great. I have a lot of, I have a few Calyx units from Ikea um, because I, I need to see what I have, which is, you know, kind of a case in point the video I did earlier in the week where I did the notebooks, um, I I didn't know that they were even, they totally less left my memory as being something I had made a while back. So isn't that sweet? Oh my gosh, I love that. Love, love, love. Okay, so those are our three. How are we for time? Not too bad, actually. I have my tags. And uh, I'm not going to decorate the tags in this video because you won't have the time for that. And you wouldn't have to, you don't have to put tags in here. You could use it for something else, um, for sure. But, love the look. Love the look. And put these in here. That just gives me a sense of what I, what else I have to do in here. Um, them in. Now, I have some other, I have some other bits here um, from Lorna that might be super cute in, uh, on the inside of these. So you can do something like that, like that. Uh, these beautiful girls, actually, or a girl and a boy, I think. Doesn't matter. It's all good. Do I have another small thing, or just wondering, do I want that, or do I want something like this fellow? Isn't that cute? I like him there. Okay, we've got him there. Um. Seeing if I have something a little bit more for here. Oh, this is nice. They're super nice there. And then on this one, we'll use a Tim Holtz. And let's go back to that tree. Let's go back to that tree that we had. So we'll put that tree there like so. So, we good for time? Okay, we're good for time. I'm just going to close these up. And I'm just going to glue this one right in. I don't think it needs anything behind it because the background's quite light 
and this is quite light as well um, but it takes up a fair amount of real estate which is terrific so I'm going to set that down here like so and their coloring is really lovely with that actually while I'm here just wondering whether I want a little another little tag of some sort let's put this up there and then it'll be done like that okay done. she reminds me of Les Mis I know I've said that before but she really does um, the poster for Les Mis okay there's that I think this one might benefit by having a little bit of paper behind it doesn't need a lot, but just a little bit would be nice. So I'm going to put some of this uh, music paper. I'm just going to set that right there. And then we'll put our tree in. We'll stick to a, a this will be a, a fully Tim Holtz little uh, tag holder. I don't know if you can call it a folio when it's only got two tags in it, so it feels like it's a little simpler than what I imagine a folio might might bring to the table. I also have this one. We'll set that up there as well. I'm definitely going to make some of these for my botanical journals. They're just really, really simple, but I think it's quite effective. Okay, we've got that one done now, and then we'll do this one. So, this fella, it's not that he needs uh, something behind him. I think it's more that he needs something to take up some more real estate, because he's just kind of tall and narrow and I'm thinking I'll put this here and then we'll set him on the other side so put our glue get all glued up here and then we'll be all set I'm gonna to have to do some more fussy cutting I'm this is the last of these that I have cut out right now. So I think I have some more. Um, I know I have some more that I've cut out, but I'm not entirely sure where I've put them. I have this habit of creating like little project. Um, you know, I put things in a in a tray for a project, and then uh, and then I'm like, okay, where did I put that? Uh, so oh, that's lovely. I'm going to set it up there. So put some glue on there as well. Set that on its side. Really nice. Okay. So I'm not sure which one is my favorite at this stage because I think they're all pretty cool. So we have all of that. And this one and this one. So, what about some sari? Um, I'm just going to cut a piece and see. Is it wide enough for me to tear in the middle? Yeah. I like I like it narrow for... I'm going to use try and tie one of these up. Isn't that a great noise? <laughs> I hope... For those of you who don't enjoy noises, <laughs> that wasn't uh, a problem. Um, but I'm just going to take this and tie it on.
So that looks super cute. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run some glue underneath where the sari is. And then that's going to stay on there. So you could put this in a journal and it would be a tuck stop, tuck stop, tuck spot behind. And then you could untie it like so while it's in your journal. Uh, let me grab my journal. Okay, so we could put it in the journal like this, glue it on two sides or two sides so that it's a tuck spot. And then you can untie it and then it would just have these bits. I think that's lovely. So I'm very happy with that. And if you want it, you could tie a, a little charm or something to, to the uh, sari. Absolutely. So this is the, that's the journal I'm going to be using for my daily uh, December daily this year. Um, the, uh, the one that we made together, um, I'm, uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to, where I'm going to go with that, but see all the fuzzies on this and I can easily cut those off after. And I'm just going to tie it like so. And go behind and glue that down. So there's that one. And then this one, we could use, we, I could go back and use my uh, twine that I've been using the last few days, but I've been using that for a lot of things. So I just feel like it's good to throw in some sari or just another texture every now and again. That one is not very wide. I'm going to use the whole thing. So sometimes you'll get those those parts of your um, put it underneath her beautiful face. Sometimes you'll get those uh, parts in a sari because it's it's not meant to be perfect. Sorry, uh, ribbon. It's meant to you know it has natural flaws in it because it's it's sewn together, uh, old pieces of sari and, and whatnot that are sewn together, etc. And that's super cute. And then I'm just going to put some glue under that. Okay. I'm not even worried that it's twisted a little. Super cute. So that is our video for today. We've made a little uh, journal tag holders out of a 12 by 6 inch piece of um, 12 by 6 inch piece of cardstock uh, and using some beautiful images from tailor-made journals and some tags from Duke's craft table. Thanks everyone for watching and I will see you again tomorrow or in the next video I should say. I'm not sure if it'll be tomorrow or not but you never know. Take care. Bye.